What's up guys, my name is Brandon and wow, Apple continues to move at lightning speed with these new software updates and at this point iOS 10 has to be the most secure firmware Apple has ever released. So just two days after releasing the final version of iOS 10.2, if you missed that, you can go ahead and watch my video from two days ago on Monday. But anyways, today on Wednesday, Apple seeded out the 10.2.1 beta 1 out to registered developers. And as you can see by looking at my screen right here, it's nearly a two gigabyte file, which is very large especially for what this update changes so let's talk about the new changes and bug fixes in ios 10.2.1 and also take a look at how this affects the ios 10 jailbreak so first of all the build number for ios 10.2.1 is 14d10 so it's a short build number for a first beta although i don't really expect 10.2.1 to have very many beta releases and as always with the beta releases i like to tell you guys the very first thing i notice after updating and with 10.2.1 the very first thing I noticed was the animation speed improvements. So this is definitely gonna sound like I'm experiencing the placebo effect and I'm just saying that for every single version, but no, really, I mean, the animation speed is quicker on my 7 Plus. It may not be for your device, depending on what it is, but it's a lot smoother than it was on 10.2. And as you see me doing here, I noticed the speed the most when multitasking. You don't have screens glitching all over the place like you did, especially with the phone and messages application. You would see the screen kind of glitch out when you went to another application from multitasking. And as I said before, a Geekbench score doesn't really tell you the whole story. You need to feel it firsthand to tell a difference, and that goes for any firmware. So aside from the improved performance, iOS 10.2.1 adds no new front-facing features, only bug fixes. Some people reported that the buttons, like right here, the flashlight, the clock, the calculator, and the camera, and the control center did not respond to touch in 10.2. So obviously that has now been fixed in 10.2.1. I never actually had that but some people did report it. So we Americans still don't have the SOS feature, unfortunately, on iOS 10.2.1. I don't think it's really ever gonna be here. It is in India, it's on the public version of 10.2 in India, but nowhere else. All right, so now let's talk briefly about how this affects the jailbreak. And I say briefly because I will have a jailbreak update video out tomorrow evening where I talk about this in depth. So the main question I wanna answer that I know you guys are wondering is does this delay the iOS 10 jailbreak? And while I can't be sure since I'm not actually a part of the Pangu team, believe it or not, I am going to say no, it does not. Now, why do I say that this will not delay the iOS 10 jailbreak? And I say that because I believe that the vulnerability that Pangu is going to exploit for the iOS 10 jailbreak will most likely be a zero day vulnerability, which means that Apple has no clue that it exists. And if they don't know that it exists, obviously they can't patch it yet. So for that very reason, I do not see 10.2.1 being anything to worry about if you're waiting on the jailbreak. But in tomorrow's video, I will run down some of the other possibilities some will be good some will be not so good and you guys might not like to hear this because you've heard it so many times and you pretty much know it but the best piece of advice i can give you is just to stay patient the jailbreak is coming you know it could be in 2018 for all we know but it is coming i just think that we just need to stay patient for now so yeah as i said i will be talking about this more in depth tomorrow in the jailbreak update video it should be up tomorrow evening uh, i still have to record it after shooting this video but Again, just stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. If not, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down below. Also click the bell icon to get notifications when I post a new video. Also make sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You can follow my at BB's iPod Touch Up or my personal account. Both of those are down in the description below. You can find all my other social media and other great links down there as well. So thanks for watching guys. That was just a brief video on 10.2.1. It doesn't really change much. doesn't really have any effect, but I'd like to keep you guys as updated as possible with iOS. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.